Okay guys, so I am so sorry. Long time no see, I know. I apologize for being so MIA. I just want you guys to know that it's not because I am not enjoying it or don't really want to make YouTubes. I am really, really trying to find the time and extra energy to create content for YouTube because I know that it's something that can help me grow and it's something that I really do enjoy. But honestly, my day job, which is photography right now and video, has been all consuming in my life, which is not a bad thing and I'm not mad about it. It is what I have asked for from the universe for a very long time. So I have honestly been putting all of my eggs, so to speak, in that basket. But I am really, really trying to get back on the YouTube horse and try to stay a little bit consistent. So I am back today with a fragrance review. This is actually one of my go-to fragrances, I would say, for like the last couple of years since it launched. And I really, really love this fragrance. And I know that it's kind of, I don't want to say that it's like over warm, but I think it's on the same level right now as like, like Dior Sauvage for men, where it's a really, really good fragrance, but it's a little bit like everybody has it and everybody's wearing it, or that's how it feels. I, I think of it more of like a casual fragrance now because of the amount of people that are wearing it, but it still does not negate the fact that it is one of the best smelling fragrances ever. Um, and it's pricey, but it's not like overly, overly expensive. So it's a really good one just for like every day, like an everyday fragrance, depending on your style and like what you're going for. So we are talking about the Burberry Her Eau de Perfume. So this is the bottle. Um, they have a few different versions now, but this is still, this was the original one and it's still my favorite of all of them. It is a sweet gourmand fragrance, like a gourmand fruity fragrance, I would say, because like I think there's a lot of fruity notes in there, but then there's also like the sweetness. So I would say sweet and fruity, but it has some nice musk and things like that to kind of like balance it out. So you're not just getting like a spray full of candy, like something like Prada candy, for example. First of all, the bottle is really cute. Some people don't like the bottle, but I think it's really chic. And I actually really do like like the gold around the top. Um, I think that's a really nice touch. It's actually a throwback. It's like an ode to Burberry's original, like their OG fragrance of all time for men. And I think it was launched in like the 80s. So it's kind of like a, like a nod to that fragrance bottle, the style. So that was really interesting information. I would say that this fragrance is one of those fragrances that's a little bit addictive and I would say nine and a half, 9.5 people that smell this fragrance absolutely die for it and love it. And it's only a really small amount of people that are not a fan. And I think the reason why is because this fragrance was actually made by Francis Kirchon. And if that name sounds familiar, it should because it's actually the same guy that made the very, very famous Baccarat Rouge fragrance that everybody goes ape over, you know? And actually, so this guy is just a magician with fragrance, honestly. He has the nose of a god and he knows how to make an addictive and signature fragrance. And he's done it again with this one. It has wild popularity. And I think it actually, some people even say that this kind of smells like Baccarat Rouge, which it kind of does. And I think that um, I've researched it and I think there were some notes that were used in both. Like this kind of like, I, I wouldn't say that this is like the dumbed down version, but kind of, I mean, it's definitely the more simplified version, but it does kind of nod in that direction is what I would say. Um, I'm not going to say it's as good, but I will say that if you don't want to splurge hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for Baccarat Rouge, this would get you in the close ballpark of the same scent profile um, and you would be fairly happy. Or even if you have Baccarat Rouge and you just really don't want to wear it every day because it's so expensive, this would be something that you could wear 
intermittently with that um, and save that for special occasions. So I'm gonna go over the notes for this one. The top notes are black currant and berries. So you do get that first initial scent of like fruitiness, I would say. I definitely, definitely smell the currant, black currant and berries for sure, right off the get. Um, I know the heart notes or the middle notes is like floral kind of notes. So it's jasmine and violet, which I've no I've noticed that I actually am not a fan of too much jasmine in a fragrance. For example, like Gucci Flora, like the jasmine version of that is almost like too jasmine-y for me. But I do like a little bit of jasmine mixed into my fragrances because it does kind of create like a nice herbal floral undernote, which I do really like. And I think it keeps it from being too sweet um, because this is a really sweet fragrance. The base notes for this one is amber and musk. So as we know, I do love, same thing with the jasmine situation. I do like a little musk in my fragrances. Like I think it creates some softness and depth and all of these things. It, overall, it's just like a very, very well-made fragrance. Very, very thought out. This guy, in my opinion, can do no wrong. As soon as I found out that it's the same guy that made Baccarat Rouge, I was like, well, that's why. It's so amazing. So who would wear this fragrance? I would say it is to me kind of a girly fragrance, I would say, um, which usually I don't love. Uh, I think it's just because it's so sweet and kind of fruity that it's definitely feminine smelling to me. Um, but also it's supposed to make you feel kind of free so I would say like somebody that's really free spirited, um, really fun and secure in herself or their self. And it has like a little bit of sexiness, but I would say this fragrance is a little bit more playful in the type of sexiness, not like necessarily like seductive. I would say more free, strong, playful type of woman would wear this fragrance. Honestly, this is, I think, one of those fragrances that I have that if I'm not really sure what to wear, I go for this one because it always smells delightful and people always give compliments when you wear it. So yeah, if you really like sweet or fruity and or fruity fragrances, this is a must have in your fragrance profile and I guarantee it will be one of your go-tos. So. That is it for today. I'm gonna to wrap it up and keep this one as short as possible. Um, but like I said, I'm really, really trying to get back on it for you guys and create regular content on here because I really do miss it and I really do love it. I will see you guys in the next video.